this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Today I'm doing another challenge against I, Ballistic Squid, and this one is called the Creative Challenge. And as you can see, for the first time ever in a challenge, I am in creative mode. I can fly, I have every block in Minecraft available to me, and uh, yeah, it's a, a little bit of a, a weird one, this one. It's uh, a little bit uh, similar to the, the Battle Challenge. In the, the Battle Challenge, uh, we had a full day and night uh, to prepare for a battle, and then we had a battle, and then the winner won. And uh, this is exactly the same, apart from for the, the first day and night, we are allowed to be in creative mode, which means we can go and spawn in all diamond armor, we can give ourselves food, we can give ourselves basically whatever we want, uh, and then uh, we can also build a base. And then basically after the uh, the one day and night, the first 24 hours in Minecraft, uh, we are then going to switch to survival. And uh, then yeah, we have a, a normal battle uh, against each other. And so uh, as you can see, uh, there is a line. This is Squid's side of the map and this is my side of the map. And for the first day and night, we are not allowed to cross this line. And if I kind of fly for a bit, you can see that this line goes across the entire world. So <laughs> the, uh, the world split in half and uh, this point here, uh, where the, the beacon is, uh, this marks the exact middle point of the world. Actually, if I get my map and if I jump in this hole, um, you can see that it says zero, zero. That means uh, that is the exact middle uh, of the, the map. And uh, yeah, uh, once we get to the, the actual battle, uh, we're of course uh, allowed uh, to cross the line. So uh, when we sleep, uh, it will be morning, uh, the beacon will turn green, which means begin. Uh, and then, uh, yep, yeah, we, we start uh, preparing. And then uh, after that day and night, uh, once it turns green again, that means the battle begins. So it looks like Squid Nugget's ready, and uh, so am I. Uh, so let's sleep, and let's uh, let's begin, shall we? So uh, the first thing I need to do is give myself some Stampy Style boots, because I need to always have these on. So <laughs> let's go and give myself some Stampy Style boots. And actually what I really want to do is I want to make sure... I have good enchantments for everything, so I'm just going to go and fly all the way back over here, and I'm just going to go and find a, a nice flat area, and I'm going to make a, an enchantment table. And of course, because I'm in um, uh, creative, I can use bottles of enchanting, uh, so then that way I can get really good enchantments. So uh, I do want to build some sort of a base, but the thing is with building a base is I can spend ages doing it, and then there's no guarantee uh, that Squid Nugget is actually even going to, to go to it. So I don't want to, to spend too much time building a, a base, uh, but it would be, uh, would be good uh, to, to have something. And uh, a good thing is that I can build out of whatever, which means if I want, I could build out of bedrock. So if I did a trap that could trap Squid Nugget in a hole and did it out of bedrock, then there'd be no way uh, for him to, to be able to, to dig his way out of. So I'm thinking of uh, maybe setting some some traps for him, maybe. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's at first uh, worry about doing all of the uh, the enchantment then, shall we? So uh, if I put my enchantment down in the, the middle here, uh, I'm going to do the books a bit uh, taller. I can never remember uh, how tall they're supposed to be, but this should uh, help me out. And uh, yeah, let's now go and... Um, uh, yeah, let's go and try and enchant some things. So I got my bottles of enchanting here. Uh, so let's go and keep splashing them. And uh, basically I can go and uh, fully enchant a, uh, a full set of diamonds. Actually, I don't need to do this, do I? I think in creative mode, it just counts as if you have a full enchantment anyway. Let me go and do a test. Yeah, there we go. It already says 30. So let's see what I get. Uh, projectile and uh, respirations. Okay. Uh, protection. I could probably get a little bit better for the, the chest plate. Uh, maybe get some other things. Uh, fine. Once again with the... the they're not the best ones. I don't want to spend uh, too much time doing this, uh, but it's quite important. There we go. Uh, feather falling for the boots. Uh, I really like that one, and I'm going to keep the uh, the helmet, uh, but I'm going to try something different for the... Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I'm going to try something different uh, for the, the leggings and the chest plate. Then, of course, I can also uh, try and uh, do a, a sword as well, uh, as well as a, as a bow. So let's try a few different enchantments on these and uh, see which ones are the best ones. Uh, projectile protection. That would be good in case he does use a bow, actually. Uh, that's just normal protection again. I'm not getting uh, that great things, to be honest. There we go. Blast protection and fawns. Uh, I think I might go for the projectile protection. Yeah, let's just go uh, for all out uh, projectile uh, protection, uh, and then that might uh, help me out uh, a little bit better. So let's just go and uh, try and do that, shall we? And uh, let's try and get a good sword. Uh, sharpness, I want better than that. I really want uh, fire damage. I really want, uh, no, not Bane of Aphropods. I really want something uh, that's going to inflict fire damage on him, because that's a, a good way to slow him down, uh, as well as uh, to put him on fire. So uh, fire aspect would be good. Uh, power and punch is okay. I got that twice. Uh, what's this one going to be? Uh, just flame one. I think I'm going to stick 
tactic uh, with one of these bows, uh, seeing as they're the, the same anyway. Uh, but I'm going to have uh, another go uh, trying to do uh, a few of the, the, the swords. And then I'm going to be pretty much uh, ready to, to go, to be honest. That's going to be uh, all of my equipment done. Uh, sharpness and looting. Looting doesn't really mean anything in this. Uh, there we go. Sharpness, not back, and fire aspect. That is the, the sword I was after. So let's get rid of all of these ones. And uh, seeing as I don't have uh, an infinity bow, uh, let's go and give myself uh, a bunch of arrows. And there we go. I'm already feeling pretty uh, ready for battle. But of course, uh, he would be doing the exact same as me. So uh, something else that is important uh, is to have some food. So a stack of cakes, why not? <laughs> and I can have some other food which I can eat while running around. Ooh, enchanted golden apples. Actually, I can go and just give myself a bunch of potions as well. Right, I've only got a room for a certain amount. A poison potion, a uh, splash potion of poison. Uh, that would be very good. So let's go and take one of them. Uh, and then I also want uh, a strength potion uh, would be very handy. Uh, where's the uh, the best splash strength potion? Uh, I think this one will do fine. Uh, oh no, that's a potion of harming, right? I do not want to get that <laughs> mixed up with uh, a strength potion. Uh, this is a strength potion. So let's go and have a harming one and uh, a strength potion as well. And then uh, I want some uh, some healing ones, of course. Uh, I want some splash potions uh, of instant healing would probably be the uh, the best ones. Uh, there we go. These ones are regeneration. Uh, so these are actually probably better than healing because I can have them uh, just before I go into the the fight and then they're going to help me out uh, throughout the the entire fight. Uh, I can now go and uh, give myself some buckets of lava. Also a bucket of water uh, just in case he goes to try and use a, a bucket of lava and uh, also uh, a whole load of blocks. Uh, be good to, uh, I give myself just some dirt in case I need to pile out of somewhere and then also some bedrock uh, just in case I really need to go and block off squid and I should also uh, give myself just uh, a few tools uh, just in case I need them for, for anything. Uh, so let's give myself uh, at least a diamond pickaxe maybe uh, just in case I get stuck somewhere I can dig my way out and I might as well enchant it while I'm here. So uh, there we go. I'm feeling pretty uh, ready and uh, equipped. Uh, so now, unless I'm forgetting anything super important. Oh, I can give myself a horse! I can have a horse. Right, let's build a base and then uh, let's decide where I'm going to, to be. Where is going to be uh, a good place for a base? I have not put uh, any thought into this uh, whatsoever. <laughs> but this, okay, this is going to be my serious base. This is going to be uh, my, um, my actual hideout so where if I feel like I'm in any danger I can run to, to here and I'm going to be like a hundred percent safe so this is going to be built out of bedrock <laughs> and then that way uh, it should be uh, completely safe and then I, I can have like a tower and so that if I climb the tower I could press a button that drops lava so then squid won't be able to, to chase me and oh dogs I get an army of dogs here as well oh this is good this is good so I'm gonna have a horse and an army of dogs it's gonna be me and all of my animals <laughs> right so this is gonna be the uh, the entrance way and I want quite a big wide entrance way well and uh, and no doors uh, only because if I'm being chased by squid nugget I want to be able to charge straight through the the door and then up this ladder and I want to make it so that uh, if someone is chasing me up the ladder uh, they yeah they're not gonna be able to chase me for for very long so uh, this is where the the ladder can be and oh <laughs> that looks like a good fighting dog I might go for that one <laughs> he seems to be attacking a sheep so here we go this can be uh, my tower here made out of a lovely bedrock uh, if I go and build up here as well and then if I go and build up the the other side so this is going to be my safety place this is where I can look out on squid uh, maybe shoot some arrows at him and uh, and all sorts and uh, so I'm not gonna hide out in this place literally the only purpose of this place is if I am weak and I'm being chased uh, then I can just run straight back to here and I can like regenerate my health and kind of prepare myself for the the next fight so let's go and uh, fill this place full of ladders and I will build some walls up and stuff as well just to uh, just to make it look a bit better actually I suppose it doesn't matter what it looks like does it uh, at all like there's no reason for making it look cool it's just kind of um hard just to not purposely make it look good <laughs> actually what I could do is have a ladder on this side and then have a um uh, have a water on the other side so I could drop down maybe or actually if I just do like a pot of water like down here quite hidden then that way if I'm stuck on the tower and I want to escape uh, hopefully squid won't see this water and I can just go and jump into it there we go so if I'm standing up here am I going to be able to make that jump easily uh yeah perfect <laughs> so that can be my uh, that's my escape plan uh, so let's just build out a bit of a, a floor here and then I can also work out a, a lava trap I guess I could just pour lava on him if I break away that ladder I could just pour lava down the side there actually yeah if I get rid of that ladder and this ladder then if 
I pour lava down, lava is gonna it's gonna avoid the ladder, uh, but it's all gonna go and spread out uh, down the the bottom there. That's uh, quite a good idea. And then let's just build a little platform up here uh, that I can stand on and some walls, uh, so I'm not going to to fall off uh, anytime soon. So uh, let's go and um, yeah, I think this should be big enough. If I do it like this. And then just have uh, have little gaps uh, just so I can poke out of, uh, but mainly have it safe. I think that's going to be a, a smart idea. And then this is just my, my little safety tower. And uh, yeah, then I could maybe start thinking about doing some traps. The only problem is uh, Squid Nugget is going to be expecting traps. So actually doing uh, a trap that is actually going to work and, um, and uh, confuse Squid is going to be a, a little bit difficult. But we can give it a go. We can see if we can uh, fool Squid Nuggets. Let's go and uh, put some torches around. And let's just go and build up these walls a little bit so it does look like a, a proper base so let's go and uh, build this around here like this and of course because it's all made out of bedrock you can't burn it you can't break it down there's basically uh, nothing uh, that he can do uh, against these walls but I might do the uh, the next row uh, out of orange wall just to just to mark it with stampy cat colors just to to strike some fear into squid nugget so <laughs> these walls are totally not needed uh, but I might just do them anyway and then I just do a, um, a, a white wall ceiling so this is going to be my main base I know it's basic uh, but I only have a uh, a day and a night to, to prepare, uh, so I don't really have uh, much time at all. Speaking of time, where's the the sun's going down? So I'm probably coming up uh, to about halfway uh, through my time. Uh, so this is okay, actually. I've already got uh, everything I think I need with me, uh, apart from all of my uh, animals and things. So uh, the rest of the uh, the uh, the challenge is basically just going to uh, to be uh, building our bases and kind of uh, trying to to prepare. Actually, what I can do. If Squid's trying to build something secret, if I have a quick look at my map now and try and remember where he is, right, he's basically directly opposite me in the snow area. So if he tries to hide or like uh, if he's got a hideout somewhere, I kind of know roughly where it is because that is where uh, he has been spending uh, pretty much all of his time. So that might have helped me out a little bit. All right, let's just go and get this done because I'm pretty much wasting time now. <laughs> I'm basically just trying to make it look pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I know that it was not going to help me at all, but I want to make it look cool as well so I might as well uh, go and build this and I think this is a quite a nice uh, quite a nice safety tower and I might actually just do a uh, dispenser with lava in uh, just in case I've wasted my bucket of lava uh, just so I can use that and then inside of here I could go and uh, put my uh, my dogs and my horses in just to uh, have all of these safe here and to uh, have a place to, to leave them so if I leave that a little bit higher and then if I do a, a fence uh, with carpet on it uh, then that means I'm going to be able to, to jump over it, uh, but my animals uh, are not going to, to be able to escape. So if I go and uh, place uh, this on the, the top here, uh, you can see that I can very easily jump in, uh, but my animals won't be able to. Oh, actually, no, I can't jump in. Lucky I checked that. I need to make the, uh, the doorway even higher. There we go. And uh, let's put some torches in here. Uh, just so it's not going to get filled up full of uh, any googlies. And uh, let's go and try and get some, some animals then, shall we? <laughs> uh, I can go and... Um... I could tie my horse up outside, I guess. Uh, if I go and uh, put this here, uh, let's go and uh, spawn in a, a horse. And I think I need uh, to tame it, don't I? So what can I have? I've got a, a mule, a donkey, or a horse. Let's go for a, a horse. And oh, I got a little baby one. There we go. <laughs> my black stallion, right. Uh, then I need to, of course, go and get a, a saddle. And uh, I'm going to go and place it on. I might need uh, to tame it first, actually. I think I need uh, to jump on it a few times and uh, get it to, to love me. Uh, and then I can go and put a, a saddle on it. And uh, this is going to help me. Because, of course, at the moment, I'm in creative. I can fly around. I can do whatever I want. Uh, but, yeah, once the game starts, it's going to be a normal old survival mode. So uh, having a horse uh, could actually be a, a good advantage. I think I might go around in the, the horse at first. And then that way, if I need to, to quickly run back to, to here... Uh, then I can uh, I can very easily go and do so. But come on, horse. Please love me, horse. Please. <laughs> While it's knocking me off, I might go and uh, try and get my dog spawn eggs and everything uh, else at hand as well. Why Why isn't it being tamed? Oh, come on, horse. I'll look after you. You'll be fine and safe in the fight. Probably. <laughs> the chances are if I survive, my horse will survive. I'm sure Squid wouldn't be evil enough to, to go and try and go after my horse. Or is it, is it starting to like me now? It's not knocked me off in a while. I guess that's a good time. Oh, look at my head slowly spinning round. <laughs> my body stays still, but my head can spin round. Has it fallen in love with me and I haven't noticed? I'm not sure. It's just climbing a tree. I'm just sitting on it and it's just climbing a tree. Um, Are we friends now? 
I think we might be. Let me see if I can put the uh, this saddle on it now. It is kind of in a tree at the moment. Aha! It is. We're friends. Right, so I can now go and put some diamond armor on it as well. Uh, some diamond horse armor. Can you enchant diamond armor? Uh, diamond horse armor? I'm not sure if you can. Let me go and give that uh, a bit of a, a test. I put my um, enchantment area up here. I kind of hid it uh, just so Squid wouldn't be able to find it and use it. Uh, no, I don't seem uh, to be able to, to put it up there. So let's not worry about that. And let's just go put it on the uh, the horsey anyway. And then let's go and try and get myself my army of dogs. And oh, horsey. Oh, where's it gone? I've lost it already. There it is down here. <laughs> I found you. You can't run away from me that quick. All right, let's go and put the uh, the armor on. And uh, let's go and uh, ride it uh, over to the, uh, the base then, shall we? Come on. Move horse, move horse, come on. Quickly now, it's not like we're racing or anything. <laughs> so I'm going to go and just uh, tie up uh, outside here for now. And there's the little baby horse as well. All right, let's go and uh, grab uh, a lead. Should be round here. There we go, a nice bright green lead in this texture pack. And there we go, the horse is now tied up. Jolly good. Right, step number two, get myself some doggies. So let's go get some uh, doggy spawn eggs. Are these wolves? There we go. Uh, let's go and get uh, as many of these as we can. Right, I don't need the, uh, the baby ones. Can I just tame all of these? There we go. Oh, I think, I think that now Squid isn't going to be able to get any. Because I've spawned so many in, I think there can't be any more in the game. This is perfect. <laughs> and because he's not allowed on my side, he can't do anything to these dogs. Which means he's not going to have any unless he finds any wild dogs uh, that are kind of just uh, around the, the area anyway. This is perfect. Right, let's go and uh, tame all of these dogs and uh, make sure they're, they're all on my side. And uh, for now... I'm going to leave them sitting down because I don't want them uh, running around after me while I'm flying all over the place. I don't want anything uh, bad to happen to them. So here we go. I have my myself a little dog army. Are, are you my friend? Yep, you are. You're not my friend yet. There we go. We're all friends now. <laughs> and then, of course, once all the uh, the baby ones grow up, I can go and uh, tame them as well. I should have been more careful not to get the uh, the puppies. But it's okay. They're my uh, they're my insurance plan. They can <laughs> maybe come in a, a little bit later. All right, let's get them all uh, sitting down uh, so they don't follow me uh, all over the place. Are they all sitting they are here we go and there were a few more uh, wolves around down here somewhere weren't there i could see if i could grab them as well if i want to be really dog greedy um no i don't seem to be able to find them i don't want to spend uh, too much time on them all uh, right let's go and uh, try now and uh, build my trap because we are starting to run out of time we've got about uh, half the evening left uh, until time has run out so uh, let's go and get my dispenser and I'm going to go and uh, place that. Uh, I'll place it on this side here. And then I'll put the uh, the button on this side on here. And then if he tries to chase me up, I can go and drop all of the, the lava uh, on his head. Uh, so let's go and get a, a lava bucket and put it inside there. There we go. Um, I want to make sure my dogs aren't in there. I guess most of them uh, will teleport up to the, the top here uh, if I run up here anyway. Uh, so I should be okay. So here we go. I think uh, I think I'm happy uh, with the, uh, the base uh, that I've built. So is there anything else uh, that I could... Uh, go and try and spawn in. Oh, TNT. Aha. A stack of TNT would be absolutely lovely, uh, as well uh, as some redstone torches. That would be uh, able to, to help me out. And I still have a, a bunch more room uh, in my inventory, so I could uh, give myself some more potions. A, a swiftness potion and a, a fire resistance potions. These uh, could come in uh, very handy. Uh, so I want to make sure I have these around. Uh, a bucket of uh, milk might ha help as well. Because uh, he's probably going to be using potions against me. Uh, so that could be very handy. And oh, spawn eggs. I could spawn like things in around his back. I could spawn like blazing or something around. If I had the fire resistance potion and then I spawn a load of blazing... That would be a pretty good strategy, I think so. <laughs> so let's go and get a bunch of blades, and then let's go and get uh, another fire resistance potion. And then I got a little bit more space, so let's just have a, a few ones of, uh, of instant healing. And there we go, my inventory is now completely uh, filled up. So let's go now and uh, try and organize it. So I just need my sword and bow at hand. I could probably get rid of some of these arrows just to uh, free up a, a little bit of space. Uh, so let's get rid of a, a couple stacks of these arrows. Uh, I want to make sure I have my food at hand. Uh, so I guess I can just use these uh, enchanted golden apples for food <laughs> and i've got my cakes at hand uh, as well let's um i could put some cakes up on the the top of the tower up here as well uh, just so i have them ready uh, in case i get a bit peckish when i run up here i can have uh, a bunch of cakes along the the floor here like this and uh, yeah let's keep uh, organizing things then so uh, i also got my a splash potion of poison. It'd be good to have that at hand. I don't think I have all of the, the blaze and stuff right here. That's more of a, a special circumstance way of fighting. So I got my damage potion, got my potion of strength. Uh, so let's do uh, nice potions to the left 
and nasty potions to the right then, shall we? So that's harming and poison. Then these are both healing, and then there's strength there as well. And uh, let's have a, uh, a regeneration one, right? There we go. I do believe I am now 100% ready uh, to go and uh, have the uh, the battle uh, against Squid Nugget. I didn't really have time uh, to build any other traps or anything, uh, but I think that's okay. I don't think that's going to, to matter too much. I think I should be okay. What I could try and do is I'm not allowed to cross the line, but I might go right up against the line and see if I can see him. No, I know he's right over there. I just about can't see him, but I know he is very, very close to me. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, uh, the uh, the sun uh, is just about to go down. I feel like I'm wasting my time here by not doing anything else. But to be honest, I don't really know uh, what else there is uh, that I could do. So what I might do is I just do a little bit more decoration. <laughs> as soon as I have a bit of spare time and I've done everything that I want to do, I might as well. Uh, just go and uh, start building up the, the rest of this tower uh, just to make it look uh, a little bit cooler and then we're going to end this episode and then in the next episode we're going to carry on uh, but we're going to be already in survival mode and then the uh, the battle uh, will be beginning so uh, my strategy is to go out uh, with all of my potions on my horse and try and scout out squid if I see uh, a good opportunity to attack him maybe uh, ambush him with all of the the blaze uh, then that is what I'm going to do immediately uh, if not I can charge back to, to my tower and I can try and defend it and if he tries to, to climb up and then I can go and just uh, drop down the, the lava trap. I think this is a pretty good strategy. <laughs> I had no plan uh, going into the, the video. I didn't make this plan before I started. I just knew that I wanted uh, to improvise and make it up as I, I went along and I think overall uh, this is a pretty good plan but as you can see uh, the sun is rising uh, so the beacon is about to change colour to green and then that means the battle is starting. So that is the end of the creative challenge part one. Uh, there will be a link in the description to part two uh, which will be online very soon. But for now I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!